So if you've seen the It's Not a Tennis Ball video that made a sort of spherical shape that looked a bit like a tennis ball that wasn't, this is something along the similar lines but using an icosahedron. So I'm going to select the entire shape, go to the vertex mode and bevel those down. And as I did before, select the entire shape and clean up so that those vertexes are welded for the next step, which is select all those vertexes and bevel them down. So what I'm looking for, these quad shapes. Select the entire object and clean up. Then to sort out the issue I'm going to have with the pentagons, because uh, I need them to have less sides, select them all, I for identical, inset a bit, right click and just collapse them out of the way. So that will give me my starting point. Select one of these quads, go I for identical, go to vertex mode and C to connect. What I'm aiming to do is get them all spiraling in in the same fashion. So that goes in, that goes in, ah, that one doesn't. So I can now show off a command uh, turn, which is a handy hint that I've received. So if I select this one, right click and use turn, it flips it around that way. You can see this one also needs correcting in that way, so I can just do turn. And, uh, and I'll work my way along so that they're all going to spiral in in the same fashion. If I want to just do a shortcut, and since the last command I used was turn, I can do shift and D, and that will give me it. So they're all spiraling in now. That one isn't, so base to deselect when you've done it. I probably should have selected more at one, shouldn't I? Or selected the... Right, so that one isn't, that one isn't, that one is, that one is. So just do that. That one is, 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 isn't. That's good. All right, so I'm just trying to get establish some sort of symmetry for the shape where all the, sa the, the lines crossing the quads are spiraling inwards towards the uh, pentagon there. Uh, and then I'll try and make something of that symmetry, hopefully. So let's just see. When, when I bevel this out, it'll become obvious which ones I've missed. So that one's not spiraling in, and neither is that. That is, that is, that is. OK, right, let's give that a go. Select set one of the edges inside the pentagon, one of the edges crossing the quads, press I for identical, and then I'll just bevel it out like so, and then look round the shape and see if there's... Ah, there's a broken bit, you see? So this one needed flipping, so go Control alt Z, select that one, and then do Turn, since I was beveling last. Then select one of those, go I for identical, and I'll bevel again. Let's see. OK, I think I've managed to do it this time. Right, I'm going to select the, one of the pentagons, I for identical, and inset. And at this point, I'm going to make it spherical. So select all the vertexes. Go to deform, inflate, hit tab, enter 100. I should make it spherical for me. And then I'm going to use this uh, pattern that I've got on the surface here. So I for identical as a template for what I'm going to do next. So I've got all those selected. Right click and I'm going to shell extrude normal. So just take that out a bit and then get rid of my original shape. So I've got this kind of pattern going on. And I'll select one of the inner and outer edges on this uh, hole. Go I for identical, L for loop, I and L just to make sure I've definitely got it. Then switch to face mode and extend the face selection until only this these outer joins are left unselected. It doesn't matter that these faces aren't, because what I'm going to do now is right click and rotate normal and spin this around in a clockwise way so that it's actually pulled those edges underneath. So that edge now has been stretched and connected to this edge. So I just thought that would be an interesting effect. I've seen this done uh, sort of a, a starship, uh, star not starship, uh, starfish pattern. But this is going to turn out slightly differently, I think. So what I'm going to do now is use the minus key and to reduce my selection, then right click and scale uniform and bring those down. So it creates this uh, like a propeller pattern. OK, uh, I'm going to throw in some supporting geometry. I'm not going to support this this bit here because that's means that edge will uh, smooth off, but I'm going to do it on the outside just to show off another command that uh, has been hinted to me. So if I select these edges here and use a G and then I and G and I a few times and go to face mode, hopefully you can see which face has been selected along that edge, but not this one, just the outer one. Now I can go right click and right click on inset and just inset a bit to sharpen that edge up 
and what I can do now to get an edge on the opposite side of that right, I'll just move my camera around so you can see a bit better is use plus to extend the selection then right click and middle mouse button on the inset and then I can inset it back from that edge as well so that's inset across the edge away from the selected area if I now select the entire shape and hit S for smooth you should see that these edges are supported and this edge will round off smooth again to improve the geometry maybe I'll risk one more level of smooth to get a very nice effect press space to deselect hit tab It'll take a moment to calculate the shading and there you go uh, what shall I call this a propeller ball uh, anyway mostly it was just about showing off those uh, those extra commands using the middle mouse button to extend the uh, inset selection over the non-selected area and the turn command that allows you to turn the connected faces on those quads. So there you go, that's the end of the video. Hope you found that interesting and you'll have a go at uh, using those commands in Wings 3D. Cheers now.